So this video is to explain how we update our trade API keys because um, there may be circumstances where we want to update them or change them. So on, on my personal account here, um, the Block 10 is one of my products and I bought it on, the, on Coinbase Pro. So if I head over to the dashboard, um, this is my Block 10 that I bought. And I haven't signed up at Bittrex yet or Binance, but at Coinbase Pro, I have um, put in my, my API keys and all of that. So you'll notice down here, I have the option to change my API keys. So if I click that, it opens up this um, little dialog here. So if I go back to Coinbase Pro, So I've got over to Coinbase Pro. I'm going to go hit the drop down next to my picture. Click API. This is the API that I created with permissions of view and trade. If something happened and I delete it or something goes on, um, I, I'll, I need to create a new one and I'll need to, to connect the new one with uh, my humble financial. So super easy. So either click here to create one or new API key. You'll just select the portfolio you want. In this case, I only have one, just my default one. So we'll put back here, this is my humble financial uh, API keys. I wanna give it permission to view and trade, but not to transfer. Um, humble financial is not gonna be moving coins off of the exchange. That's not something that we're doing. Just viewing and trading. Uh, don't forget to put your passphrase from from here in that goes right there under passphrase then we can create the key we're gonna need our 2FA again so let me get over my Google authenticator and put that in there and now here's the secret this secret is only done once. So if you push done here, then you're gonna have to create a new one. <laughs> so we got the secret in. Okay, can't submit, sorry. Um, done with that. And then the key is just the title. This is the, the key. So once I put the key in, and then I need to put my humble password in. With all of that done, I should be able to submit. It's gonna check it, make sure it's valid. And because it is valid, keys have been updated. So all of the trade executions that will happen will occur using this new trade key.